How's it, guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly, for those of you that are new here. And I want to bid you a very wholehearted, warm welcome. Today I decided to go ahead and just show you my main everyday carry bullet journal. And I am using a Day Free Hobonichi in the A5 size and an A5 size Hobonichi notebook because my favorite paper is the Tomoe River paper in the 52 GSM. Um, I prefer that. So I'm just showing you I have this little setup and I'm using my Kaveco rose gold pen uh, fountain pen as well as the pen that came with the planners the jet stream and I have this um, pocket configuration set up with some um, Kita washi tape and just a different um, beautiful uh, laminated cards and I have those two Hobonichi folders I wanted to stow those away in there for future use. And that is my strawberry sticker um, that I got off of AliExpress quite some time ago. And then I've just used different papers that I had on hand to decorate. Um, and I was missing the Tomoe River paper, which is why I chose to do the setup. This is chalkboard scrapbook paper. It's cardstock, and I'm just pulling out the chalk that I got at the teacher supply store probably 20 years ago. I still have it. Over 20 years. And I covered up the pages at the end because this is the back of the book um, because I don't read Japanese. So I made that bookmarker eons ago. And this is the front of the book. And... The monthly sections. With a year at a glance, I use Shine Sticker Studio um, covers and I stamped with an Allie Edwards stamp, and I have a beautiful Ollie clip there. I'll probably put a quote in there. And then for my year on four pages, I just use some stickers, some sticker books that I had on hand. And then I have my quarter one goals already written out, so I'm covering up a little of the bit of those my goals for privacy purposes and then I have a habit tracker which I'm covering up part of it and then I just cut out some scraps of paper into strips and put the corresponding dates and days of the week on there and I added some I used a sharpie s gel to write that with and then I added some washi tape on there and so I'll do my quarter one, two, three, and four goals in each section at the bottom. And then at the top, I'll do a highlight of the month. And then I've watercolored all my month sections. I use this specifically for work. And I've stamped some Allie Edwards stamps in there, added some washi tape and date covers, and I watercolored everything. I think it makes the paper feel beautiful. So I've covered up December because I already have that filled out, being that it is already December. And I just sped up this video because it was so long, so I figured I would just do a quick voiceover instead. Um, and I really like the way the watercolor affects the pages. It makes them very crinkly. And I love that tactile sensation. And then I have just the blank notebook for just anything I need it to be for work in the front of the book. And then I'm showing you all those illustrations. And then my book starts at the back to correspond also with my bullet journal, which is the right notebook. And again, I use just copy paper to cover those pages very thin so I could actually utilize them for something. And then I hand lettered everything and I put page. And I have a little section for the page numbers and the topic towards the right there. 
And I have, that is my first index page. So I'm starting from the back and working my way forward with my collections, basically. So I've given myself one, two, three pages for my index. And then I have my 2022 goals. And um, I perhaps one day a section and I hand lettered using a pink um, sign brush pen by Pentel and then I went over it with the blush colored um, Pilot G2 so I have my quarter one two three and four goals each page has its own I have a self-care menu I added little sticky tabs and I wrote everything in and then I I'm showing you that I whited it out, some of the stamps that I stamped on those, because I wanted to doodle them instead. I did leave a few of the stamps, and I did one doodle the candle. And then I have my chiffonier, which basically means dressing table. So what I have on my dressing table is basically my skincare lineup. So I have the purpose of the product and the actual product itself on that spread and I like that and then I have my packages spread I gave myself two pages for that and then I have um films with fountain pens basically movies with fountain pens so the films the players and the year the film was made I've been keeping a list like this for a year or two and I really wanted a, an analog list of it in my bullet journal and I have my bookshelf starting there and then I have a let's go to the movie section um alluring epithet and current reading nook it said and then I have a let's go to the movies and then I have my one little word section and monthly lectures print the handouts I do one little word by Ali Edwards so and then my writing prompts, and then page protectors for the layout, because I like to plan that ahead. Take photos, print photos, embellishments, and the Facebook group. And then I did that for the whole year. Very simple. And then I have my key, and then I left a page to doodle, and I can add my color code in there. And um, I can thread that bookshelf section with this because I wanted more so reading goals books to read so author title author and what type if I own the book or what have you a reading tracker a reading log um and I did a whole yearly reading log and I'm just fixing that little part because February only has 28 days which I knew but I mess that up so I mean I like this I know it looks bad with the white out but it's still okay so book title author time spent reading pages read date began date end and then I gave myself five reading logs for that and then I did four book review section book title author genre format actual book library book audiobook pages copyright year ratings and I did a stamp for yay or nay, date started, date ended, epithet, impression, and quotes. I have Planner Society Washi throughout. And then I'm showing you I can thread that bookshelf with the other one. And then I have my perspective mood tracker key. And I used vintage florals, so I'm just showing you the different things you can pause the video and screenshot it I got most of this off of Pinterest but I did add a few of my own like I have a little section that says pissed and aggravated and then I have a section <laughs> that says um erase from memory warehouse and day from hell <laughs> so I thought that was a little funny and then I did basically a mood tracker for and I categorized it in morning into morning afternoon and evening and then I also went ahead and did my color code on the sidebars there so I did that for the entirety of the year 
And I love the florals. Those are PET stickers from AliExpress. You can get them very, very inexpensively there. And I did a lot of sticker surgery, but I didn't want to waste any. So I wanted that extra sunflower on that one. And then I did a yearly perspective slash mood tracker. Um, so I really like the way all of my collections turned out. Especially the bookshelf section. And I have a year reading tracker. I'm just showing you that again. Um, just like I did a full year uh, mood perspective tracker. So those are again my tw those are my 2021 goals. And I'll do another goal section once I map it out. I like to map it out on paper and then put my final one in one of those. Allie Edwards stamps that I have laminated, Shine Sticker Studio, and there's my Jane Austen page. I love the fireplace and the tea and everything. And then I will link that book below because it's gorgeous. I bought it specifically for as deco. And then I will also link that wax paper that I used as a tip-in. It feels so nice. They have all different um, patterns too. Those are strawberries, but they have cupcakes. And then that, that book is total vintage plants. And then I use my old fashioned clicker label maker. I love the way that feels. And then again, over on this page, I have my perhaps one day. So that's your John or David Allen someday. Maybe I call it perhaps one day. And then I've added Wonton and a Million stickers, again, with Shine Sticker Studio stickers. And Mike, that's a floral from Michael's, a Michael's sticker book. And I have my Midori Year pages on there. I got two sets of those from Yoseka. More of that strawberry wax paper. And then I have my inbox on the next page. And I made that book marker several years ago. And I did a little layout of just sticky notes. And then that says read more. It's from another sticker book. And I have LOL, the LOL sticker book. So I just really made this a mix. And then I have again my 2022 goals and quarter one goals. And I hand lettered everything. I did a little bit of stamping. I mostly predominantly used Allie Edwards stamps on there. Monthly projects and then plan of action, one little word, books, movies, menu, and groceries. So I did a writer Carol bullet journal list method for that. That worked out nice. It's basically the same setup as before. Brain drain as this current year. I'll do a flip of that too. Then I have my wellness section, personal, e-man, which means faith, winsome, lose some, and then mind and soul and body. So I have faith, growth, learning, expression, skincare, and keto. And then I have my YouTube brainstorm to do, requested, unpublished, published equipment, and then I added this section, and then I have something blocked off because that's private for me, and then I have them added in this mem mem monthly memory section, excuse me, and so that is something new for this year, and then another monthly calendar um, in there, and then I have my evolving weekly. Now, for February, I'll set this up a little different. Um, I have some new sections that I will show you at the end but for February I was going to incorporate them at the beginning and then I just decided to do it at the end because it's something new so I have my evolving weekly and then I have my dailies my weekly assessment it was a short week so I added that all in one um but evolving weekly my habit tracker my dailies my weekly assessment but Coming up in the stuff I'm going to show you next, I'm going to actually have that at the beginning of each week, and then I'll have my week and my dailies, and then have that inside each and every week. And then there's my monthly assessment. Now, this section is new. This is my IA writing agenda. I have a whole couple other Eman faith planners, so 
I will also be um, writing down these things within my bullet journal itself just because I think it, um, I really wanted to have that on a daily basis too. Um, but I also use my Aman faith planners as well. Um, this is my Ibada al Sabah section, which is new. So I'll be incorporating that at the beginning of each week. And that means worship in the morning, basically. So it's like your morning pages. And then I have my soap study. So this is the Dua soap study. Dua means supplication in English. So it's basically from nursing this derived from the soap study, which is subjective observation, assessment, and plan. So S for Sura, which means chapter. O for observation, what's going on with me, checking in with me. And then A for Aya, which means verse. So what verse uh, pertains to that? And P for prayer, uh, a specific prayer for whatever specific issue it is that I want to look into. And then I have a brain drain section. So this is a little extra section that I can just add in. If I want to map out something and work it out on paper, I can add it there or just do um, a generalized brain drain. So I will be putting those, my morning pages, my soap study, and my brain drain at the beginning of each week and then go into each week and I have it mapped it out and laid it, I laid out the plan for that for September. I mean, excuse me, for February, rather. Um, so um, I'm just showing you all the deco that I did, and I hand-lettered all of this. But that is some, those three sections are new. But, like, if you um, are not, um, you know, don't need a section for your faith, you, those other two sections, you can use your morning pages just to put your thoughts down on the page or something for your kids, and then if you want to do a soap study for something else or just omit that all together, of course you can. So you just do what's right for you. And then I'm just showing you the deco for that on there. And those are my two books, basically. And I really like the way I have that set up. Um, and every month I just tweak it a little bit and just make it my own, so... I hope you enjoyed this condensed version. I wanted to make it more palatable by being a shorter video. So I was trying to talk fast throughout this. So um, that is about it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And um, I wonder what kind of planner you guys are using. Are you using a Wonderland? Are you using a Loitch term 1917? Are you using the Cosmo Air Light paper? Are you using onion skin paper? I would really like to know if you care to share. Please comment below. Um, and let me know what kind of a notebook you are using. There are so many different varietals out there of paper. So... Um, the Tomoe River Company sold their paper, so some company bought it, um, a few months ago, I guess, and so we'll see.